In this video we're going to take a look at how to cut acrylic sheet. There are many different types, many different colours, many different thicknesses and also many different finishes of acrylic. For example this one is a non-reflective finish, that is a opal colour. I actually bought this for a project and I can't remember what I bought it for now, but that's one of the benefits of being old. You can also get clear like that, that is 10 millimetres thick. They've got some blue non-reflective finish. And then we've got some colourful green gloss finish. And then this piece is a piece of lucite. This would normally be used for sanitary wear, such as a bath or a shower tray. So we're going to look at a few different ways of cutting this at home. Obviously one of the best ways of cutting this is using a laser cutter, but not everybody has access to a laser cutter. The first technique we're going to look at is scribe breaking, and that can be done on acrylic up to about 4mm thick. These two pieces are about 3mm, that one's 3.2, that's 3mm, uh, that one's 5mm. So you could probably cut the 5mm piece by scribe breaking if you scribed it on both sides. I'm going to start off by scribe breaking this piece of 3.2mm lucite. There are quite a lot of trade names of acrylic sheet, such as Perspex, Plexiglass, Lucite, etc. So we've got one straight edge on this piece already, so I'm going to use a square. I'm going to put that on the edge and then I'm just going to scribe a line in down here on the masking. You can use a marker for doing this and if you use a marker it is much easier to see. But for this demonstration I'm just going to use the scriber. So I've now got a line there where I need to cut it. I'm going to align that with the edge on the bench. I'm then going to take a straight edge and I'm going to put that on the line. And then I'm going to clamp that down in position. Now I've done that, I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to score along there a couple of times. Because that is such a small piece, I'm actually going to release the clamp, so I'm going to turn that round, clamp the short piece and then I'm going to scribe break the larger piece. Trying to scribe break something like that is almost impossible because you cannot grip it. I'm going to make sure that the scribed line is perfectly in line with the bench and then I'm going to clamp that down. Now that I've done that, you simply take hold of the piece of acrylic and press down on it firmly. And I'll just put that down once I cut the masking on the back. And I'll just give you a close up, then you can see the quality of the cut. Like I said, the quality is not that good, but it is a very quick and a very easy way of cutting the acrylic. Obviously, that would need a good sanding down now to get a good finish on that edge. And like I say, you can do that up to four millimeters, no problem at all. You may even be able to do five millimeters or even six millimeters if you were to scribe both sides. I'm now going to take the knife. I'm going to scribe that a few times on the top. I'm also going to scribe it underneath. And I'm going to take hold of it and give it a firm push downwards. And as you can see, that broke very cleanly. So we've got a straight cut, but obviously it's going to take a bit of work to sand that down to give us a nice clean finish. 
You can easily cut acrylic using a jigsaw, but you do need to use a metal cutting blade. So you need one with small fine teeth like that. Or even like that. That will cut acrylic absolutely no problem at all. What you don't want to do is use a blade like that because that will give you a really bad finish and will chip the acrylic really badly. Obviously you're going to need a pair of safety glasses on when you do this. I've now got a metal cutting blade in this jigsaw and I'm going to cut this going very slowly. You do need to have a jigsaw that's got variable speed so that you can go slow. You don't want to go at full speed when you're cutting acrylic. Also, you don't want to put orbital action on because that will also chip the acrylic. If you go too fast when you're cutting acrylic, it will weld itself back together once you have cut it. If for any reason you need to stop when you're cutting the acrylic, you need to pull the machine backwards and then start the machine going before you try cutting the acrylic again or there's a chance that you will crack it. So that's the kind of cut you can get if you go at the correct speed. I'll now show you what happens if you try going too fast. And of course, if you go too fast, it will weld itself back together like that. The advantage of using a jigsaw is that it is absolutely superb for doing radiuses and curved lines. like so. A circular saw can be used like this, it doesn't matter if it's mains powered or battery, the important thing is adjusting it so that you get the correct depth of cut. If you were to cut the acrylic with the blade as it is there, at that depth you're going to waste a lot of energy by the friction which is caused when you are cutting the material. So what you would do is just ensure that the teeth of the blade go through to the other side of the acrylic that you are cutting. Again, you're going to need a pair of safety glasses when you do this and some hearing protection. The important thing with this is to start the machine before you touch the acrylic and go at a slow steady speed and take your time when you're exiting the cut because that is where it could possibly chip. You will notice that I'm using a straight edge. I've set that up so that the circular saw will use that as a guide to guide it perfectly across the sheet.
So as you can see that cut that very easily. There is a big difference when you're cutting acrylic depending on the blade that you use. If you use a general wood blade you don't get that good of a finish. If you can get one that's got a lot more teeth you do tend to get a better quality cut which I'll demonstrate on the table saw. But you can always use a handheld circular saw like that for cutting acrylic. This is the Evolution Rage 5 and I've actually installed a special blade on that which has got 120 teeth. So that blade has got a lot more teeth than the normal blade that is shipped with the machine. I have to say that this is very good at cutting acrylic. I've cut quite a bit on it. You can cut single pieces or you can stack them up on top of one another and you can do what's called a pipe cut and push them all through the blade at once. It does give you a very good cut on acrylic. When you're setting this machine up you do need to adjust the depth of the blade. Obviously that's far too high there so we need to lower that down. And with this machine you just need to ensure that you can get under the guard at the back there. So that's about as low as we can go. The beauty of this machine is that when you start up the vacuum cleaner it does take away the majority of the swarf. The beauty of a machine like this is that you can get extremely straight cuts and also you can get a really good finish on the acrylic if you use a quality blade like that. Of course you can cut it using the normal blade that is supplied with the machine but it doesn't give you the quality of cut that a specialist blade will. You need to set the machine going and ensure the blade is going at full speed before you slowly push the material through the blade. This is a piece of acrylic which has been cut and then line bent. If you take a look at that side you can see that that has given us a really good cut and that's not been sanded or polished or anything that is just a cut from that blade that is in the machine. If we take a look at the other edge that was actually cut using a normal circular saw blade so you can see that the quality of the cut is nowhere near as good. So that is the difference that a specific blade for cutting acrylic can make when you are cutting acrylic sheet. You can see that we've got an absolutely fantastic cut along that edge and no further work was required on that. A few months ago I made a gift for a friend who was 50 and the base was actually made from several pieces of acrylic which were glued together. I actually cut that on this which is the Rage 3 DB using the supplied blade with the machine and that gave us a very good quality cut which didn't take too much polishing to get out the saw marks.
Obviously, if you've got a CNC machine or you've got a laser machine, you can cut acrylic absolutely no problem at all. But this video is just showing you some of the techniques you can use at home to cut acrylic. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.